gingerbread house. The bake gingerbread cookie. Merry gingerbread man. Roll and gingerbread split. $45 gingerbread woman. How the fuck are you boys? Welcome everybody to the stream. If you guys haven't already, make sure you smash that like button. Who comes up with this stuff? How to make a gingerbread house. Do you notice how they're all old white ladies? I can't be the only one that's noticing these are all old white women. They have run out of things to do in their lives. They know they don't have a ton of time left and they're just, they're just making shit up. See what gingerbread house lady is about. Oh, this would be fun, Miss Ginger. We could let this be your house. Who's Miss Ginger? You're kidding. I'm Tamara. Don't give me flowers. Don't give me chocolates. Give me a gingerbread. Mom's passion for gingerbread, I think, is a good thing. It's sweet, it's innocent, and it's not scary or freaky in any way. It's not? It's not? This is, this is not scary or freaky? Having your entire house look like the gingerbread men house from fucking Shrek? This is not scary, creepy. This isn't weird. Come on, get real. Get real, dude. Get real. This clock is really special to me. Mm -hmm. My daughter Tiffany gave it to me, and I think it's very cute. <laughs> Bro, I want everybody to pay attention to her face. Dude, they told her to act this out. They're like, uh, what kind of weird thing can you say to the camera? <laughs> My daughter got me this clock. It's so special. Pay attention to her fucking face. This clock is really Look. special to me. My daughter Tiffany gave it to me, and I think it's very cute. <laughs> Brother, what? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude, she is so happy. After just five years collecting gingerbread items, Tamara Holland of Alta Vista, Virginia, has amassed an 800-piece collection worth almost $3,000 and an all-consuming passion for the popular Christmas tree. Nobody sees a problem with it this. Is? This is Miss Ginger. She's my pride and joy. I found Miss Ginger at an antique store that was going out of business. And at the time, she was on clearance. So I came home and asked my husband if I could get her. She came home one day and she told me. It. You know, I was going to say she has a husband. And as soon as it cut to this frame. Yeah, yeah, about right. Yeah, uh-huh. If I was to put a face to what her husband would look like, this is the guy. This is the guy. This is the guy. Guy. This guy has gingerbread in his eyes. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, she wanted a gingerbread lady, and uh, she told me it was $45, and I asked her, was she crazy? I just don't see giving $45 for this gingerbread lady, but she act like she wanted very bad, so I just went ahead and gave her the money for it, made her happy. What a simp. I just know that I love her. She means so much to me. She's like part of my family. Dude, I that mean, if somebody would come and offer me a million dollars for Miss Ginger, I would not let her go. No way. She lives in a trailer. Now, there's nothing wrong with living in a trailer, but you're going to tell me you live in a trailer and you bought a $45 gingerbread woman. And if somebody offered you a million dollars, you'd say no? Fuck you. While Miss Ginger may be her most prized piece. Um, are we all seeing this? She's opening an oven to bake gingerbread cookies that's supposed to be red hot while miss ginger may be her most just grabbing the whole pan she about 300 is the worst gingerbread actor cookies every history there's a lot of things that you can do with ginger and sometimes i experiment well i am a smoker but i read somewhere that you could smoke ginger as a substitute for tobacco. The first thing I did was I chopped up some... Bro, Grandma's fucking rolling Mary G's, bro. Not Mary... Not Mary Jane. Mary Gingerbread Man. Mary fucking G. Granny's fucking rolling gingerbread spliffs. God damn, dude. Grandma's fucking hitting them G's, baby. Are you fucking... Bro, look at her. She's got her rolling papers. She's good, baby. You imagine going through like TSA at an airport or you get pulled over by a cop. You got, you got anything in the car? And you're like, huh, just ginger. <laughs> just, just my ginger. Ginger root, put it in the sun to dry. 
Now I'm gonna roll this into a cigarette. That is not a cig... What? What is that? Her homemade ginger cigarettes are just one of the many ideas she has for use. Dude, that did not... Look, I'm not one to really partake in the devil's lettuce. But, dude, this looks like a piece of fucking shredded lettuce. What the fuck is she smoking, dude? Pencil shavings? A f an old bookmark? Well, what is this? A fucking paper straw that she stepped on? What? What is this? Also, look at her face. She doesn't, she doesn't like this. Look at her. One of two things. One of two things just happened there. Either, either it was absolutely disgusting or she was smoking. She's, oh, God damn, that ginger is hitting, boy. She's gonna be seeing gingerbread man fucking prancing around the house later. Tamara still has one gingerbread dream that has yet to be fully and what realized. Is that? What is that? Right now, my home's just a normal home. Not anything to do with gingerbread. What we're really making. First of all, your fucking steps are, 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 are goddamn peppermints. What do you What do you mean? It does have something to do with gingerbreads. You You have a peppermint walkway. What is she gonna do? What is she gonna do, dude? What What, what more can you do? Go to Disney, live in a life size gingerbread house. Hey, sis, what home the fuck are you gonna become do? Become a gingerbread house. What? Tamara saved close to $4,000 over three years with the dream of turning her home into an actual gingerbread house. What? Today, she's about to get one step closer to her dream as she meets with a contractor to discuss the logistics. What is the logistics, huh? What is the logistics here? Uh, 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 what are they doing? Bringing in sheets of gingerbread from the fucking gingerbread mines in Zimbabwe? What? What is What is the logistic? What is happening? What are you talking about? The logistics for a gingerbread house? What? Thinking about really wanting to paint my house. Can you maybe give me a description of what you would like to do? Well, I... I want it to be a brown, possibly a golden brown or a honey brown. So you're telling me, dude, I have never, I have never seen a trailer, any color in my fucking life that I have looked at and said, mmm, break me off a piece of that fucking trailer. I guess it's not real fucking gingerbread. She brings Mike an edible visual aid dude, so he can no see the exact shot. color she's looking for. <laughs> okay, let's see. This is what I want my house to look like. Okay. Okay, let, hold on, hold on. Let's take a good look at this, everybody, okay? All right, everybody, take a mental picture of this color right here. We're going to see how good of a job Bob the fucking gingerbread builder does on matching that color, okay? We're going to see how good of a job he matches this color, okay? Shark color, I'm on board, Tart Shark. I'm on board. Let's see how well he matches the color. Okay. I have never had a request like this in over 22 years of pain. Dude, no, okay. No fucking way this guy's last name is Pizza. You're gonna tell me right now that this guy's last name is Pizza and he's in the painting business? Are you kidding? Your last name's Pizza and you're painting houses? God damn it, Mike. If I fucking ever see you, if I ever fucking see you walking on the streets, it's on site. It's on site, Mike Pizza. Should I say Mike the painting gingerbread man? Painting. This is very unusual, but I think she's gonna enjoy it. I can't believe that it's happening. It's like, pinch me, wake me up. I feel like I'm in a dream, but it's actually, it's going to be true. She thinks the transformation it's, of it's... her home is complete, but her daughter Tiffany knows it's only the beginning. My mom's been staying with me while I had her gingerbread house Dude, painted. She and is I snuck out super out. early this morning before she got up and did all the <gasps> decorating for. Now I'm going to give her a big surprise. Tiff, I can't wait. I'm so excited. It's very exciting. I can't wait for you to see it. You're gonna be so mm. happy. Don't let don't. me pass out. I don't know. You I don't. I don't. I don't know. know. Okay, Mom, we're here. Are know. you excited? Yeah, very. It's finally time. Dude, she's gonna here have we a go. Stroke. Okay. She's gonna have a stroke. She's gonna be careful. Oh. Do you like it? Do you like it? Clearly. She either really likes it or she is actually having a stroke, okay? I feel like that's rather obvious, but one of the two has happened. There is no in between. She either very much likes it or she's having a stroke and you need to call 911. Uh, do you like it? 
<laughs> dude, this is fucking weird. This is fu Dude, look at that face, dude. Look at her face. This is fucking. Do you fucking like it, huh? Do you fucking like it? Do you like it, man? Do you like it? Ah! It's beautiful. <laughs> Oh my God. <clears throat> when Tiffany took the blindfold off and I actually saw my home, I can't explain to you how it made me feel. It was just so overwhelming. We saw. Is this what you thought it would look like? Uh -huh. Most definitely. It's what I visioned in my dreams. Is it your perfect ginger? Yeah, you're color? dreaming perfect. about this. Dude, that's a problem. Could have been worse. Mm -hmm. Bingo. I'd be more than happy to put it up at my house. Carry on the legacy. I never dreamed that she would consider carrying on.